Hi everybody, Grandma Bev here with Life with Grandma Bev. And for those of you who, who don't know me, when I started my channel, it was actually called Cruise and RV Tips. Then a vaccine, uh, not a vaccine, a virus happened. <laughs> and then the vaccine. And I could no longer do any travel videos. We had five cruises canceled since then. So, we do have one coming up in a month. And so far, they haven't canceled it. So, I figure it's time to start doing my travel videos, along with all my other hauling videos, like, you know, beauty products, clothes, all kinds of stuff. I had to branch out and, what do you call it, diversify myself once the virus hit. <laughs> So you can be having a variety of things, you know, in, in my thing now. Look at, look at God shining down on us. Look at that. <laughs> so what I'm going to start today is I'll be doing a series of videos of essentials that I feel myself are important to use when traveling in 2021. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start with part one. And it's going to be like a um, prepping to go on the plane, getting on the plane, you know, what you need on the plane, that kind of stuff. Now, I won't be showing everything because I'm going to only show 10 things in each video. I don't want to overwhelm you. <laughs> so let's get started. First off, you've got to be organized. Uh, you know, that, now, I'm basing all this on going on a cruise, okay? What I got several years ago... <laughs> And they came in like a pack of three or so for these folders that have those little pockets. So what I what I do is, of course, we start planning these a year or more in advance, sometimes two years. I mean, we've got three cruises booked. We're, we're booked up through 2020, well, through 2022, and then we're just waiting for 2023 schedule to come out, and we're booking another <laughs> So what we do is if we're going on what they call a pre-cruise where we fly in several days early because we want to check out the town we're sailing from, in this first side, I'll put like information about the hotels and our confirmations. I'll put information about the places we want to go see, if we book private tours, and all that kind of stuff. But then on this other side, I'll have all the air info which doesn't usually amount to much. <laughs> then when I get to the cruise part, I have this, you know, the side where it's got all the cruise information as far as, you know, insurance, what the, their rules are, you know, the, uh, what do you call it, the contract you have with them. And from there it goes to, you know, the booking, um, the, the different excursions that are available. And then as we book them, I print them out. Or if I'm printing out information about the different towns, I print those out just so we have them. You know, like I see here's a map for Venice. Uh, and like I say, once we start thinking about doing a trip, we look and see where the itineraries go. And we start right away on YouTube looking up all these different little towns to see if they're places that we actually want to go see. So that's why I, I print a lot of things out. So this is for the one coming up next month. And I've got, uh, like I said, a couple of others in there. And then, of course, when we leave, this goes with our my, uh, my hand carry-on. And as we do each of these sequences, then I remove the paperwork that I don't need to keep anymore. So let's get started. Um, I'll get everything together here. Try to keep it to the, you know, like I said, 10 items. First off, you need to have a scale. <laughs> I bought this a few years ago, but I haven't gotten to use it yet. <laughs> and then once, that's why it's still in the package. And then, of course, once you're on your way, you want to bring it with you because when you're packing back on the other end and you've acquired souvenirs and things, you want to be able to weigh your suitcase again. So you know it's under 50 pounds before you get to that airport. Now what we do, oh, I guess it has, it is partly open. We, um, 
on the big cruises like this, this is gonna be over three weeks, we take the one bigger suitcase. Well, we each have a, one bigger suitcase. And then the usual smaller carry-ons, which I'll be doing videos on those too. But, um, so these are, a lot of these things are things that, you know, preparing the big suitcase, you know, <laughs> that's gonna be checked in. So then along with the suitcase, when we get our documents, in this case, it would be from Viking, you put your, your uh, cruise in there, <laughs> your, your cruise thingy, <laughs> which shows the cruise ship, the time to board, your your cabin, all that stuff on it. It has to be on the outside, you know, along, along with your luggage tags. So these we've had several years. Now we're not sure yet what size, because this is the first time we're sailing Viking, if the documents will fit in this size. If it doesn't, we'll just get more. And we had gotten these off Amazon, like I say, years ago. Another thing we need this year, in 2021, of course, is another kind of holder for <laughs> you never know when you're going to need it and along with this comes a lanyard i'm not sure if this is a lanyard i'll use but i can i can tell you that it'll be on a lanyard probably under my clothes you know so if anybody is concerned yes we've been vaccinated and I got those on um, Amazon, too. Another thing for the suitcase is, you know, so many people have the same suitcase you do. Now, we just bought new travel-on luggage this spring. And so much of luggage looks so similar. So I would like to put a strap on. <laughs> now, those of you who know me know I am so into kitties. So I thought this one was so cute. I love kitties, sloths, and goats. <laughs> so I got this one to put on it. So this will be on mine. So when Bob's up there trying to claim our luggage, he's gonna see this strap and go, oh, there's Bev's. You know, there's the cat ladies. So then another thing uh, that we need this year is masks. So we decided to get new ones because, I mean, our masks have been through hell since, you know, for the last, you know, 16 months. So these are what Bob got. He's got a pack of three. And they come with a, a lanyard also. So you can click them on, have them around your neck. You need to put it on. Just When you go you come outside, you can take it off and not fumbling around to find your mask, put it in your pocket, put it in your bag or whatever. We're gonna try these out and see how they work. And then of course, you know, we can rinse them, rinse them out at night and they'll dry. That's why we got the three for him. And I'm sure the cruise ship will also have some. Of them. For me, I got this pack of five <laughs> because you know, I have to be fashionable. So I've got this pattern and, then, you know, and these should go okay. I don't care if they exactly match my clothes. Here's one. This one. <laughs> this one. And this one. And it comes with this little lanyards too and some filters. So I got these off of uh, Amazon also. One thing I forgot to bring out here was, but I'll, hold on, let me go get it. Now, some of you may need things on, especially long flights, those who have maybe circulation problem, problems, uh, where if you're sitting for long periods of time, you know, your legs get swollen, your feet. I've had that issue. And it's mainly on the long flights, because, you know, when we go to Europe, we're on the flight at least 10 hours, you know, at least. And I had bought in the airport a pair of compression socks. They were so hard to get on all the time. By the time I'd get them on, they'd be so tight around my ankle joint that I'd be so uncomfortable the whole trip that I couldn't wait to get them off when the plane landed. <laughs> so this year I thought, I'm gonna get some new compression socks. <laughs> So this, are, this is a box or a bag of 
six or seven. Seven, uh, seven assorted six. All different patterns, as you can see. And I thought these would be cute to take, you know, for a cruise. I got these off Amazon also. I could not even get them on my foot. <laughs> Back to square one. So make sure you check the compression socks on before you leave and get on the plane and go try to put on so you're not, you know, surprised. So I've got another type coming and I'll share those, you know, in another video. And these are, are for sale right now on my eBay channel, <laughs> of which there is a link in my description. <laughs> Another useful thing on the plane that I'm going to try this time is this Jersey Knit Travel Blanket. And I had gotten this at, I think it was TJ Maxx. It's in this little zipper. It's made out of, like, T-shirt material. It can fit over the, you know, your, your suitcase handle. And it's just very lightweight. I just want something lightweight, small, and not just for the plane, but when we're in the cabin on the cruise ship, I get cold. And I don't want to crawl under the blankets you know, just to watch TV or, or, or put a big robe on that they've got in, in the cabin. So I thought I'd try this because then I've got this cute little thing to... I wonder, should I open it and see how big it actually is? Then I'm gonna have to get her back in there. You know, it's just a simple little little wrap. You know, it's not real huge, but big enough. Cause uh, I'm, sh you know, they they usually have blankets, but I don't know if I want to use one of theirs <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so that'll be with me. And then oh. Uh, Another essential is a uh, TSA compliant toiletries. You'll need that before you even get on the plane. You'll have to pull that out to, for them to check. Now these almost smells like something's leaked. <laughs> this came in my luggage. It was a travel on luggage and this fit exactly in the one little outside for the travel on suitcase, which I won't be using that suitcase this time. But heck, this is perfect to fit in my little handy dandy you know, carry-on bag that I will be using. And you can see most of the size that you can take on a plane fit standing up. So I thought that was pretty good. Anybody leaking in there? <laughs> I have a keen sense of smell. Nope, it's not. So, in another video, I'll be showing you what I do end up putting in my toiletry bags and what I pack in my actual carry-on. You'll see little snippets here and there of things popping up. <laughs> and the last item I'm sharing today is this cute, adorable little totes umbrella. I'm not gonna open up the umbrella, but look at that cute, and it's real lightweight. And I had found this at uh, I think it's, it's TJ Maxx. And online, you can find them in like $17.99. And they got 38 inch coverage. The rain rolls right off. It stays four times drier. Suggested retails $24. So I got this one for me. And I'm looking for one for Bob. You know, I'm trying to find, I just want a solid color one because, you know, he's a guy. I don't want to carry a fancy one. So that's that. So that's all I'm going to share. Let me make sure nothing's sitting here. <laughs> that's all I'm going to share with you today. So, what you think? Comments below. Like. Share. No, share. <laughs> I've been doing this for almost over a year and I still keep messing up. <laughs> I'm human. Like, subscribe. And one thing you'll notice with my videos, what you see is what you get. I don't do a lot of editing. I just go for it. <laughs> and like I say, I'm a, I'm a, you know, well, in my 70s grandma. And my purpose was, to, uh, in starting this 
channel was to let people know that, hey, just because we're getting up in our 70s and 80s and called elderly ever since the virus hit, doesn't mean that we don't still want to go out and have fun. You know, you got to do it while you still can. And oh, <laughs> our minds travel around, you know, but we still come back to the subject. <laughs> So, like I say, I hope you enjoy this. I, I look forward to seeing your comments. And I hope that you'll watch my future videos that are coming up. I'll be doing a bunch of them. I hope you're all having a good week. I love you all. Bye.